Hello everyone. So I've actually made my Czech friends laugh a lot when I told them that I've tried this Czech sweet called Dudlo. Even though technically they aren't a traditional Czech sweet, there's nothing wrong with trying one of these because they are everywhere. At one point, I even made the list of Lonely Planet's top 500 food experience to have around the world. So you'll definitely try one of these when you see all the people eating this or maybe taking an Instagram photo. But if you want to get some classic Czech sweets, you don't need to go to a grandma's house to try some out. So in this episode, we're going to go get some more traditional and some more modern with a twist. There's always so much to do in Prague. Let's begin. Okay, so I got my two Czech desserts. Um, before I start, I just want to say, some of my Czech friends told me these are main meals, not dessert, which I find very interesting and awesome. If I knew this as a child, I could definitely have some strong arguing points against my parents. To me personally, as a tourist, I think this is a dessert, but eat it the way you want. Dessert, main, it's up to you. I just love those little differences between cultures and having that funny conversation about is it a main meal, is it a dessert? Now the uh, first thing I got is a fruit dumpling with Tavaro, uh, some kind of cheese. They serve it with a cream base way and they grate it as well. And they've got butter and sugar, which I find very interesting. And this one is um, some potato dumpling with poppy seeds. Again, butter and sugar, which is an interesting combination that I've never tried in my life. So I'm pretty intrigued and excited to try this one. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the fruit dumpling. I wonder how sweet this is gonna be. Ah, oh, yeah. That's surprisingly not as sweet as I thought it would be. Has a little bit of sourness to it. I'm not sure if that's the Tavaro. It's a really good combination. This is really good. This is better than the Totolo for sure. I feel like this could be like an Instagram thing. Hold this in front of a proud castle. <laughs> this is really good. Ready, so let's try the next one. <laughs> I'm really interested to see what this tastes like. Poppy seeds, butter, and sugar. I've never heard of that combination before, but yeah. Get some poppy seeds on that bad boy and drench it in the butter. Oh man, again, that's surprisingly really good. I've never had anything like that. That combination with the poppy seeds too, it just has a bit of nutty flavor and the butter is very smooth. The butter is very buttery, if you want to say. It's delicious. And the potatoes, it's kind of like savory and sweet at the same time. It's really delicious. Okay, so we just came from Helvetska Karuna. Um, what I like about this place, it is budget friendly, easy on your wallet. So if you're a backpacker, definitely come check this place out. Um, it's all classic Czech meals. They have fresh beer on tap as well. And the location right in the city center. What I like about this, it's that cafeteria style. You know, you kind of walk in with a tray, get what you want, it's nice and quick. So again, Great place to get some classic Czech desserts for mains, all desserts up to you. And uh, let's get to the next place. Bram Bereve Siski Sir Makum. Oh man. Bram Bereve, please. <laughs> okay, so this place is called Knebling. And I chose this place because it's uh, more of a modernized version of the fruit dumpling. They have a variety of flavors and then you can see they crumb it in all these cool colors and you can even got chocolate sauce to pour over, which uh, yeah, I really think that's cool. So the flavors I got is um, pistachio and raspberry, raspberry and white chocolate, and the savory one of pulled pork and sauerkraut. Um, I know it's not a sweet thing, but I think it's cool. They got all these different kind of savory flavors as well. Like, I think I have like one of like some Thai flavor as well. Okay, so let's try the first one, raspberry and white chocolate. I'm just gonna pour this bad boy on. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> that is messy. Okay, first of all, it's warm. It's really warm. I thought it'd be cold for some reason. It's so tasty. It's not overly sweet. And chocolate sauce and white sauce going together. And that raspberry, you get that bit of sourness. It's just balanced so well. And it's the same kind of uh, pastry or dough as the dumplings. And it has a really good bite and chew to it. That is just awesome. So the next one is pistachio and raspberry. I love pistachios, that's why I chose this one. Oh, did not expect that. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's also a really good dumpling. It tastes like pistachio and raspberry. Again, the sourness from the raspberry. It doesn't cut through, so you actually get to taste all the pistachio. I forgot to also mention, they have this pistachio cream inside as well, which I think is really cool too. It's uh, really tasty and you can actually taste the pistachios. And I think that's the point I want to make here. It's, just, it's not overpowered by the raspberry like sourness or tartiness. And of course, I just gotta pour chocolate all over it. <laughs> So now I've got the last one, the savory full pork and sauerkraut. Oh wow. Uh, it's actually smoked ham and sauerkraut, not pulled pork and sauerkraut. Oh man, that is awesome. After eating so many sweets today, it's so nice to eat something savory. But yeah, that's just a perfect balance of that sauerkraut and that saltiness from the bacon and a bit of smokiness too. That is really good. Definitely come here and try the savory ones too. Alrighty, so this is probably one of the most popular thing to do in Prague is check out the astronomical clock. One of the oldest clocks in the world, on every hour it rings and performs with rotating statues. You'll know this not just from the bells, but also the amount of people waiting to see the clock ring. It's like when a band first walks on stage at a rock concert, a lot of phones filming. So today we actually went into the clock tower. After purchasing your ticket, which you can get for half price if you come in the first hour of opening, you'll get access to the observation deck, all the hallways, and as well the underground area. So if you have time, check out the old town hall. Looking at the clock from the inside was very cool to see up close. And of course, the views were great from the top of the tower. So that is my touristy thing for today. If you want any more information about the places I eat at or the places I go to, the link is down below. Now let's get some more Czech sweets. Okay, so we're at this cafe called Ipa Cafe, and this is definitely a upmarket, more modern style uh, cafe. But what I really like about this place is they put so much care factor by using the highest of quality ingredients. And also, they really explain things to you as what goes in their desserts. I mean, they've got this one dessert, which is a cheesecake that looks like a wheel of cheese. I think that's really cool. So the first thing I got is Buhiski Sokremen, which is little yeast buns with vanilla custard. And um, they also give you some rum, you know, if you want a bit of kick to it. Let's just try the first without the rum. I don't really know what to do with this. Let's throw it in there. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. These are like, little fluffy, airy little pieces of bread, of little buns, I guess, yeah. Custard is really sweet, but not overly sweet. And they're both warm, which I really like, you know, I really thought this would be cold, but like they go the extra mile and make sure everything is warm. Now I really want to do is try it with rum. Pour in a little bit. Whew. <laughs> that is strong. That is delicious. Um, I prefer it with rum. It has that awesome like aftertaste of, you know, smooth rum, that kick to it. All in all, I really like this. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can't believe I've never heard of this before. This is a cool, really cool dessert and a really cool concept. I like it. Okay, so I got the Vetanique. 
so it's choux pastry, caramel glaze on top, has two types of cream, vanilla custard and caramel cream. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just giant and looks awesome. <laughs> I don't know how to eat this thing, but I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna just try the cream at first. Well, oh, that is super strong. You can just taste the caramel and vanilla custard all at the same time. And I just love shoe pastry, use shoe pastry for um, fitter rolls. And it's kind of my arch nemesis because I never had the patience to make shoe pastry in the kitchen. I mean, basically to make shoe pastry, you have to cook out the dough in the pan, let it cool down and add the egg yolks. And then finally you can pipe it. And there's so many times it can go wrong. You can overcook the pastry. You can put the egg yolks too, in, uh, too early. And uh, yeah, I just give mass respect to pastry boys because I don't have the patience for that. All right, here we go. <laughs> My wife's just looking at me like, oh, how am I married to you? That is very difficult to eat, but it is definitely worth it. That is delicious. The flavor's balanced so well. That cream isn't over whipped and it's nice and soft and airy. Everything about it is awesome. I definitely recommend going to this place. The staff are really nice. As you walk down there, you can see the kitchen, even for the price, it is more expensive, but it is still worth it for the quality of the uh, desserts you're gonna get. So today was awesome. You definitely need to try some Czech sweets when you come to Prague. I was actually really surprised by the huge variety and how delicious all the sweets were. I'm sure there's many more sweets I can try around Czech Republic. Maybe I'll make another episode in the future, but for now, I think I needed to stay away from sweets and possibly join a gym. Um, if you like this episode, please consider subscribing. I plan to travel and eat around the whole world, and I'll see you next week in Olomouc.